hello guys i hope you are doing really really well in today's video i have with me a realme pad and in this video i will show you top 17 tips and tricks for using this tablet so guys the first tip that i want to show you is about screen recording so how you can uh, record your screen in this tablet so you have to bring down the notification panel and here you see this pen like icon over here okay on the uh, left corner just select it once you select it you will have to scroll down and you see this option of screen record it's available over here you have to press and hold it and you have to bring it to the top like that okay and then you can go back from here okay so now i will go back so everything is done now so you can see the screen record option is now available so you just select it so once you select it it will ask you if you want to record the audio okay so you can enable it if you want and then it also asking you show touches on screen so you can enable it as well there is one more option so if you see this small arrow over here just select it and here it will give you more options about microphone device audio if you want to record the audio inside the device you can also do it okay device audio and microphone so three options available over here okay so now i will start the recording so here uh, the recording will start you can see over here the countdown so now you can see the recording is start so whatever i will do it will uh, record my screen okay so it will be helpful if you want to make your lectures your presentations okay so you can do this option once you finish okay you just scroll down and then here you see this option of tap to stop so now it is stop and it is automatically save in your gallery the next feature is about taking a screenshot uh, with three finger swipe down option so if i swipe down three fingers like this it will take the screenshot and then i can also edit the screenshot okay so you can see i can edit it all the options are available i can crop i can adjust i can use the filter markup more uh, if you want to write you can use the pen option you can write on your uh, image as well okay so how to enable uh, this uh, screenshot option so you just have to go to the settings okay once you enter into the settings just scroll down and you will see an option of system okay so just select it once you select it you will uh, see an option of gestures okay just select it once you select the gestures you will see over here it says swipe down with three fingers to take screenshot okay so if you select it you can see i already enable it okay so if you want to enable uh, this option so you have to enable it from here okay if you don't want you can simply disable it so this is how it works the next feature is about adding multiple users uh, in your tablet so first of all you have to go into the settings once you enter into the settings just scroll down okay and you see uh, this option of system just select it once you select it you will see an option of advanced okay just select it so once you select it you will see an option of multiple users okay just select it and here you can add more user you can add guest and you can customize setting for each user so they will not be able uh, to see your actual settings okay so you can add any user and then you can switch it to that specific user and then they can use the tablet the next feature is about using the power button uh, to turn on the camera okay how to enable this option you have to go to the settings okay then you have to go to the system okay once you enter into the system you see this option of gestures just select it once you select it very first option over here it says quickly open camera currently it is turned off okay so you have to turn it on just go inside okay and here you see this option okay you see this toggle just enable it okay so you can see now it is enabled so for example uh, now i will go to home screen i lock the tablet so if i want to turn on the camera i just press this power button two times okay so i will show you okay so you can see the camera is now turned off okay so i can easily take the picture so this is how it works 
the next feature is about assistive wall feature so you have to go to the settings once you enter into the settings you will see this option of system okay so just select it and then here you see this option of gestures okay so here inside the gesture you see the second option over here it says assistive ball just select it so once you select it uh, there is a quick guide available as well okay so to turn it on you have to scroll down the assistive ball and from here you can enable it okay so how does it work you can see uh, a ball appear on the screen okay so if you uh, press it one time it will go back okay so you can see now it is going back again i press one time it will go back again and from here settings and then here to the home screen okay so if uh, you press it two times it will open the recent apps okay and then uh, if uh, you are using some app and if you press and hold it okay it will go to the home screen the next feature is about navigation so if you don't want to see these navigation buttons and you only wa want a simple slide you can enable it you have to go to the settings okay then you go to the system okay and then go to the gestures okay and here uh, you see this option of system navigation just select it so once you select it here you see the first option over here it says gesture navigation so you will see over here if i press this gesture navigation okay so you can see there will be no more buttons okay only this slide is available okay so this is how it works okay so for example if i want to uh, go back and i want the buttons again again i select this system uh, this gestures and then i have system navigation and then i can select this three button navigation and then the buttons will appear on the bottom so you can customize this gesture navigation so here is the setting option also available the next feature is about double tap to wake the screen so to enable it just go to the settings okay and again you have to go to the system okay and then you select this gesture option okay and here you see this option of double tap to wake screen so you have to enable it okay now for example uh, i lock the screen and if i double tap it it will turn on the screen and from here i can use my tablet guys if you want an otg connection so you have to uh, enable it just go to the settings okay then uh, go to the system okay and here you see this option of advanced just select it and here you see the last option over here it says otg connection you have to enable it if you want to use the uh, otg connection but for now i don't want it so i just disable it so guys if you are a student and uh, you want to use your tablet uh, for reading so you can enable the reading mode okay so i will just scroll down the notification panel and here you see this option of reading mode so once i select this reading mode everything will become black and white in your tablet this will be really helpful in your reading so guys if you want the widgets in your tablet so you have to press and hold the home screen like this and here you see the menu will uh, pop up and here you see the second option over here it says uh, widgets okay so just select it so once you select it here you have different widgets option available so you have calendar chrome clock contact so any um, option you want you can select for example i want this calendar okay so i press and hold it like this and then i can easily put in my home screen wherever i want for example i want to put it over here so you can see now the calendar appear over here so this is how you can use the uh, widgets option uh, the next option is the battery saver okay so if you want to enable the battery saver just go to the settings okay and then uh, you have to scroll up okay and you will see an option of battery over here okay so just select it once you select it you will see the very first option over here it says battery saver just select it and you can see you can turn on it okay you can turn on the battery saver and it will uh, make your screen dark and it will help you to extend your battery life the next feature is about battery percentage if you want to see the battery percentage on here on your main screen so you have to go to the settings okay once you enter into the settings you have to go into the battery 
okay and here you see this option of battery percentage so just enable it so once you enable you can see the battery percentage is now showing over here on top if you disable it it will disappear so if you want to enable uh, just use uh, this option and it will show you on your screen the next feature is about font size if you want to increase or decrease the font size uh, you can do it just go to the settings okay then go to the display okay once you enter into the uh, display you will see the option of advanced just select it once you select it you see this option of font size okay so just select it and here you can select any font size it is also showing you as a sample over here okay so the sample text is over here so this is like different font sizes okay so you can select any font size that you like okay the next uh, feature is about face recognition if you want to enable the face recognition you have to go to the settings okay once you enter into the settings you see the option of security okay just select it once you select it here you have the option of face recognition currently it is not set but if you want to set you can set from here there are three different option face plus pattern face plus pin and face plus password so whatever option you want you can select it uh, the next feature is about app pinning so you can pin an app and lock your screen so only one app will work in the tablet so how to enable it just go to the settings okay once you enter into settings go to the security okay once you enter into the security just scroll down and you see this option of advanced just select it and just scroll down and then you can see app pinning okay so just select it and currently it is off you have to turn it on so once you turn it on you can open any app okay for example i will go over here i go to the recent and i want to uh, pin this app uh, let's say this chrome okay i just select this icon over here and here you see this option of pin so i just pin it okay so now i cannot go back i can only use this specific chrome i cannot use any other app okay so this app is basically pinned into my tablet so this will be really helpful if you want to give your tablet to your friends and you only want them to use only one single app so you can pin that specific app okay so if you want to unpin it uh, just press this uh, recent button and this uh, back button together and then it will unpin so you can see app unpin and then you can use your tablet uh, normally uh, so uh, the next feature is about a uh, digital well-being so just go to the settings okay and then here you see this option of digital well-being okay just select it so once you select it it will show you your uh, all your day activities what you use on your tablet how uh, many minutes uh, you spend on the tablet all the apps all the functions are showing over here uh, the last feature is about focus mode so if you want to use the focus mode just go to the settings okay then again go to the digital well-being okay and then i uh, scroll down you see this option of focus mode just select it so here uh, you can select uh, any app uh, that distracted you and then uh, it will pause the app and hide the notification from those distracting apps so all the apps are available you can select any of these apps okay so if you want to use this focus mode you can also uh, do it in uh, the notification panel just bring it down select this pencil uh, this pen icon over here okay and then scroll down you have this focus mode available so here you can see focus mode uh, just press and hold and you can bring it on top and then you can go back and you can see the focus mode is now available and then you can use this focus mode from here as well so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much